I thought that this was a real interesting question. How do you know what the subconscious mind wants? Uh, like, well, when we're here and I'm talking to you, well, we're talking with the, the conscious mind, right? But there's a lot of things that are running in our much bigger subconscious mind that, you know, like, that are just our, our habits, our beliefs, uh, parts uh, of the mind that's controlling uh, things that, like our, our heart rate, uh, our respiration, all those things, a lot of the things that are happening automatically that you don't have to think about. How do you know what you want or what the subconscious mind wants, well, what it's controlling you? So that goes back into thinking about what are our beliefs? What are, what, what's your trading beliefs? What, what beliefs do you have about trading? What beliefs do you have about money? Uh, now, here, here's an exercise for you, for you to do to start figuring out what the subconscious mind wants, right? Like, so uh, grab paper, grab a pen, and then start writing out what are your trading beliefs? You literally have hundreds of them, especially if you found me and this channel. Uh, you have hundreds of trading beliefs. Uh, it could be things that you've read in different books, things that you've seen on this channel, things that you've seen on other people's channels, things that, that uh, maybe you, you've listened to or the, a mentor has told you and you're like, you know what, the, that's a good idea. And you've just adopted it. Start to write those things out. You have uh, beliefs about position size, about risk management, about what makes a good trading setup, about what kinds of indicators you use. Well, take, a, uh, take an hour, write all this stuff down, right? Like there's literally hundreds of them. Then for each one of these beliefs, uh, you're going to start to write out, uh, like, how does this belief help me? What does it get me into? What does it get me out of? Well, what's my goal, right? Like, uh, and ideally you know what your trading goals are, do these beliefs help me move closer to my goal or are they pulling me away from what my goal is? Sometimes like if your goal changes, right? And you should reassess what you, where you want to go uh, regularly. Sometimes uh, the goal changes. Sometimes uh, like you might have started out with trading goals to trade for your retirement, but now you're, you're quarantined and you are actively looking for another way to make income. Trading is a great way to do that. So maybe it, your goal now is to start generating cash flow from your trading. And you have other trading beliefs that are surrounded by uh, longer term investing well time to assess some of those beliefs and maybe change uh, some of those beliefs or compartmentalizing them so that way you can also trade for shorter term starting to generate some of that cash flow so you need to understand what your beliefs even are right so you're going to do that for your trading beliefs, but you also have got to do it for your money beliefs. That is crucial. We've got, uh, like most of our money beliefs come to us uh, when we're kids and we start adopting these kinds of money beliefs, right? Like uh, if you uh, are like me, you uh, grew up thinking that money was scarce or uh, maybe you, you think that money doesn't grow on trees money's hard to to come by right a penny saved is a penny earned things like that well if you have those kinds of beliefs then you need to start thinking about how that can affect your trading right a penny saved is a penny earned well uh, i just made a penny on this trade right like i got in at 100 and it's up to 101 cents well I should take that money and run, right? Like the, that's not how trading's going to work, right? Like unless if you are a, a scalper, right? The, and you're trading for pennies, then you it's not a strategy that you're going to uh, to want to go for. You're going to want to let your your trades run. But if you've got beliefs like that that are just in your mind on autopilot that you haven't thought about in 10, 15, 20 years, then could manifest it in your trading. So this exercise of asking yourself, what are my trading beliefs? What are my money beliefs? And then going through and asking yourself, is this bringing me closer to my goal or not? 
might be the most important exercise that you do in your trading career. Hop to it.